What we got here is a corn binder, a winter national pickup. I think it's a 67 maybe, 68. I'm not really sure on the year. A buddy of mine's truck. Um, years ago, I remember when he used to drive it all the time, how far I would with it. and Got a 345 in it. I don't know if the hood will open. Okay, it's got a 345 International in it. Just a pretty neat old truck. It's got the bed, I believe, is eight and a half foot. And it's weird because it's eight and a half foot. But it's only a, I don't know if you can see there now, 133 wheelbase, or 131 inch wheelbase, I can't read. Um, 142 horse, certified net. The gross is 164 it looks like. This is back when a truck was a truck. Didn't have all the luxury items. Um, Oops, shaky cam. Full drive shifters were full drive shifters. Your convenience items in these trucks. You got a heater over here. Okay. You got a clutch brake and a gas pedal and steering wheel. That's your that's your extra convenience item. Door. I guess use a little alignment on the door. But I just thought it was a neat old truck. Um, this thing was a workhorse. And I'm betting you could still start this thing up and drive it. I mean, not on the road. I'm sure it need brakes and. Well, I guess what I'm saying, I bet the motor still run. Got the racing stickers back there in the window. Yeah, it's just an old international, nice old bumper on her. Had some buckshot mutters on it when it was running. Yep, just a cool old truck. I just thought I'd show you a little bit of it. Like I say, I'm not sure in a year. For some reason I'm thinking 67. I could be wrong. I think 69 or 70 is when they changed to the square body style, I believe. But I just thought it was a neat, a neat old truck.